Plant and Food Research is building scientific understanding of the health benefits of fruit. This information will help in the development of functional foods, beverages and ingredients that benefit human health and well-being. One particular program is examining how fruit compounds may improve lung health, as Dr Roger Hurst explains. We've taken a focus on looking at lung inflammation because it's a type of inflammation that can in some situations get out of control, become inappropriate and we believe that fruit phytochemicals, fruit compounds could potentially bring back that control and help people with lung inflammation problems. The inflammation of the lung can be initiated uh, in a number of different ways but typically it's um, a response from the body um, for particles appearing in the lung, dust, pollution, pollen is a common one. So these are good initial reactions but then they get out of control with uh, continued exposure. When we started the work we, we did a lot of cell-based screening, testing fruit samples in cell cultures uh, using various cell lines and we realized quite quickly that uh, berry fruits came up as leads in that work and stood out versus some other fruits. Boysenberry is one fruit that's been shown in preclinical models to have positive effects on lung health. Dr Odette Shaw explains. We've been looking at the effect that boysenberry has on the um, inflammation that's caused by the allergen. What this has shown us is that both in a short term and long term sense, boysenberry feeding reduces the amount of inflammation. It seems to do it in a very specific way, which is it does it by reducing the number of immune cells in the lung. It also reduces the amount of scarring in the lung. So when you've got a lot of inflammation and a lot of immune cells infiltrating into the lung, over time you end up with uh, essentially collagen replacing normal lung tissue. So what we found is that boysenberry consumption reduces the amount of uh, collagen within the lung, it reduces the scarring, and it does this in a really cool way, which is it turns macrophages, which are normally inflammatory cells, into anti-inflammatory cells. So they stop producing free radicals, they stop producing inflammatory cytokines, and they start producing proteins that actually help break down the collagen and return the lung tissue back into normal lung tissue, not scarred lung tissue. The next immediate step for our research is we were transitioning from looking at strictly allergen-mediated inflammation into looking at more broader, different types of inflammation that occur within the lung. Particularly, we're looking at pollution-mediated inflammation. The long-term plan for the research is, obviously, we want to be able to take this into humans. So we want to be able to develop a product or identify fruits or compounds within fruits that we can then take into the clinic, give to people who are living in challenging environments, polluted environments, or working in uh, sort of heavy industry where there is a lot of particulate and chemical damage to the lungs, and be able to identify and confirm that the stuff that we've been seeing in the lab actually translates into real-world situations.